yo, back in this bitch with another episode of Go Deep. Yes, it's another day. Some more Go Deep content. Let's hear it. Um, this is Go Deep episode 173. I got my homeboy. First time um, on the show, but uh, he been my dog for a while. My homie Justy. Everyone knows Justy online, on Twitter. He's big Snyder Cut dude. Big Snyder Cut pusher. Big Snyder Cut proponent. I mean, promoter. Um, but in real life, Justy's cool as fuck too. And you're going to hear that today in this podcast. Shout out to my homeboy, dog. I got to show love to my dog. That's why he's on the show. Big Justy. Go deep. Episode 173. Let's get it. Yeah, bitch. <laughs> we finally got you on Go Deep, man. How you doing? Not too bad. It's been quite a while. I've been, been meaning to do this for quite a while now, eh? Yeah, yeah. So let me introduce you. This is Big Justy. Yep, sure. Big Justy on Go Deep 172. <laughs> Everybody knows him. You probably see him, see him on Twitter a lot. You see him on uh, Facebook a lot. But he's a big Snyder Cut supporter. And he don't play that bullshit. <laughs> He's the guy with the stupid bald head and glasses and has a silly tattoo on. <laughs> <laughs> so, Justin, how you doing, man? We got the movie, man. Unbelievable, aren't like, it's, it's like Christmas has come early here. Uh, you know, I was just actually just on Twitter there, and I seen uh, Zach actually commented back on something on Vero, and that we're going to be getting the original Stephen Wolf party, like. Hell. And um, unbelievable, aren't like. Wow, hell and, yeah! And he said he literally just posted there as well, Zach, about the the Adam. He just he just wrote on it going, "This will be fun." Right, huh? right. I saw that. I saw that. That's gonna be dope. You excited? Yeah, it's just, it's, 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 oh, unbelievable! Like you know, it's uh, oh, hearts racing. Like do you know what I mean? Since since the other day, like I mean, there's a lot of people really really ecstatic, ecstatic here. Like um. You see the boot text come out here, the job's still not done in my eyes. Right. You still have to fight these people off, you know. But uh it's the, you can't you can't be relaxed with this sort of thing yet. Right. It's still a bit more year to go here. Right, right. I agree one hundred percent. I definitely agree. So Justin, tell the fans something about you, man. How did you get into the Snyder Cup movement? And um, no, no, no. First, let me say, tell you, I want to thank you, man, because you supported me, man, like the whole way. Always, man. You always supported Go Deep, and I appreciate it 100%, man. Back in Facebook, eh? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Back in the day. What was, what was that Facebook page? What was the Facebook page? The Sex Center sure. Appreciation Club? Yeah, yeah, was it or something yeah, like that? Yeah, yeah. Zack Snyder appreciation and it was I think I said something about Dave and everybody got pissed at me and you were the only one to stand up for me in that whole room I was like yo alright whatever <laughs> it was crazy like it's the same as the only two people I remember that really stood out there was yourself and uh, the, the Thomas James oh yeah it? right if it out right or James Thomas right right he's my friend too he was, but he was always writing stuff on and I was always liking his stuff and people were going at him all the time and sitting going, this guy knows what he's talk- talking right. about here, you know? Right, right. Definitely. Definitely. So then... But, um, go ahead, sorry. No, no, no. Moving forward, I remember I used to see your, um, your videos you used to post about the company, what was it, Heavy Company? Tell us about oh, that. Oh, uh, I, I Heavy Metal Club. Yeah, it was um. Well, the funny story behind it was is uh, I was living in Australia, probably over ten years ago. I came back here. I started a business with a guy that I knew since I've been sixteen. He was about ten years older than me. I'm not going to mention his name because he's an, he's an enemy of mine now. But um, we started a business together for two years, and uh, he actually ripped me off, and uh. I actually started another business just to piss him off, <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's, it's still, it's still a good one, like, but it's, I, it's, it's just like a hobby to me, you know, it doesn't, it's not, 
doesn't make millions very often, you know. Right. It's just, it's just, it's just there to piss them off, basically. <laughs> <laughs> That's dope, man. That, I mean, I see all the videos and it, some big boys, man, lifting a lot of weights, though. That's crazy. I mean, like. Yeah, yeah. Well, we were, I mean, at the time, I mean, I'm turning 40 January this year. Since I've been 16, I've been heavily involved in uh, weightlifting, powerlifting, and strongman. Mm. Um, I competed at British level in powerlifting for quite a few years, up till I was about 21. And then um, I kind of faded out of it because I injured myself pretty bad outside of the gym, funny enough. And uh, for about 10 years, I didn't do nothing. I actually tr um, took a couple of countries and just lived overseas for a long time, you know. Right. Um, then I ended up in Australia, like, and then I just came back here and kind of kind of lost, lost the love for it all. Like, but then I was doing the, the shows with this guy who was running the business with. He had his own business, but we were running shows for uh, like, uh, Channel 5 television here in the UK, right. which was pretty big, you know. Um, it was pretty heavy lifting stuff, so I got to meet all the top world's strongest men as well, you know, right. which was good fun, you know. Right, right. That's dope, man. I mean, how do you train to get there you know like i mean I, I i know about well i don't really know like to the level y'all are on but i go to the gym sometimes i you know i try to try to stay in shape but i can't imagine yeah. getting to weights like that i can't imagine like what do you do like is it just like an eating regimen or what is it's it the, just... the, the, the simple solution to this is consistency and everything consistency is the key yeah becoming stronger, becoming fitter and healthier. If you're not consistent, you're not going to increase in strength. You're not going to increase your speed. Your health is going to deteriorate, like, you know, and food is, food's the hardest thing for a lot of people. Mindset is the biggest thing that people feel on. Um, and what you could say is, like, so many maybe have uh, eating disorders. There's very extreme eating disorders from anorexia, the people who actually have body dysmorphia, it's called. It's where people see themselves as too small. Right. And they try and get bigger. You know, like that's more bodybuilding size. And then they can become uh, really extreme where they end up taking PEDs, which is like uh, like likes of steroids or growth hormones and stuff, you know. Right, right. That's just the name of the game, unfortunately, like, you know. Right, right. So uh, you're, in, uh, <clears throat> you're in Scotland, right? No, no, it's, uh, I'm actually uh, Northern Ireland. It's, Ireland, uh, the, right, the, right. Okay. The, the, north, the north of Ireland, like, you know. All right, cool. I always get those mixed up. I'm trying to listen to the accent, and I'm like, damn, I, is it Scotland or Ireland? I always get it mixed up. I, the Scottish are pretty cool people, like, you know, I know quite a lot of Scots, like, you know, they're, they're good laugh. Right. Uh, good, good few drinking session with them. <laughs> <laughs> So, let me ask you about that tattoo, because I saw you, it was like a bunch of videos, I don't know, was that like national media you made getting that tattoo? No, no, um, what it is, is uh, my mate, uh, I'll give him a shout out, my mate Paul Johnson, um, he, he's like a, a producer for like music and does a lot of video and stuff for oh. like a big piece and all, and um, his, his, it's actually his girlfriend. He does tattooing, a girl called Cora Dix, um, which is unbelievable. Like. And um, he was, he's now living in England, but he came, he flew to Dublin because he DJs, and he flew to Dublin over a year ago. And I went down to Dublin to see him play and had a few drinks in me, like, and uh, started talking to Cora. And I was like, you know, I want to get this tattoo done. It's about, it's been 15 years I've had it in my head, believe it or not. And uh, I seen where it was when I was in Hong Kong, I seen this guy, and uh, he had a dragon done on his back, and, uh, and he let me take a photo of it, and it's always stuck in my head. Now, I've got two kids, and I thought maybe if I got the dragon tattoo, it might be a wee bit sort of scary for them or something. So I ended up uh, having a sit down with her, and we came up with uh, these, uh, it was inspired by uh, a Japanese koi carp. Now it's not it's, it's not like the Japanese koi carp or they're supposed to swim upstream. It's just like a representation of it, like you know. So I thought, right, 
that I'm going to get this done. It's now or never. I'm turning 40. If I don't do this now, you know, it's never going to happen, you know. So I um, flew over to England last October, sat for uh, four and a half days. <laughs> it's 37, 37 hours of clock then. And then you have to think, I didn't, this is never, I've never done this before. Really? I thought this was kind of like a normal thing because I've always seen people with full body tattoos, right. you know? Right. So like when I was getting the guy was getting it done, um, it, I'm not going to lie, like it was, it was sore, you know? I've, right. I've experienced pain, like, but this is next level shit. <laughs> Excuse the language, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's all good, man. That, that looked but, like it was painful. Put it like this, sorry, put it like this here. The videos that you've seen there were just wee tips that he's doing because he's actually making a video you see for his girlfriend's uh, business. Right. I still have to go back and get it finished. But um, he's going to be posting the full video like when I go back and get it done, you know? So, so you, um, you say that was pain like never experienced before. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> can, I, can I swear on this here? Yeah, can man. Get no, say whatever you want, bro. <laughs> yeah, fuck me, man. It was really fucking sore, like. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's I, talk about it. You got it from, what, head to toe? Or? Yeah, it was from, um, it was top right shoulder, the whole back's covered, right down the right ass cheek, and then all the front of the right quad and all the way down the back of the uh, hamstring and calf. You know, right. Every the, the, it's uh, it's funny. Over the bony parts was actually easy. Funny enough for me, right. the lower part of my leg was a gift. See my back. Oh my fuck! <laughs> so, really? But, like, it, it, sorry, go ahead. Uh, no, no, no. I said really. It was your back that hurt the most. Yeah, the 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 the, the right side was okay. But the left side, it was just so it was so sore, uh, and um. It was day, I think it was day three. Mm. Day three, I think it was, I had to use numbing cream on some of the parts to get it done afterwards because my body started to shut down. It's like, I've never experienced it before and you're, you're shaking really, really bad. It's like your body's craving like energy from sugar. So you're just drinking loads of like look age sugar, you drinks, eating sweets just to keep the, the energy levels up, you know? Wow. But put it like this, put it like, put it like this, by, by day, it was day five technically, but it was only like half a day. It was like four hours I had to do, but it was the worst because um, on, on day one, Cora had said to me, don't clock watch. It's the worst thing that you can do because right. the time would go so slow. And I didn't do that the whole time. But on the last day, I was watching the clock. And I tell you what, it was, it was fucking torture, like, you know? <laughs> It was absolute torture. Like if, if someone actually said, it's funny because I know I have to go back again to do it. If someone said to me to go and do it again, I would go, no. Oh, wow. Really? The, the pain was out. pain was out so early, like, you know? Because <laughs> um, they, 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 I had a small tattoo done on my chest when it was, uh, I think it was 17 or 18 I was. And I mean, obviously it's been a long time ago. I couldn't remember the pain. When I was getting the outline done, the outline took a whole day and it was actually not sore. Mm. But the problem was at the very end, she had to go over the same lines with a thicker line. And I tell you what, that was fucking, <laughs> oh. Uh, like if, if, if the CIA or somebody busted into my house and says, we're gonna torch you, I'm going to go and fucking bring it on. <laughs> you know, because I'm fucking, I'm hardened to it now, you know? <laughs> Oh my god. So let me ask you, I got some tattoos too, but how long does something like that take to recover? How long did it take to like scab up and peel off and all that shit? Believe this or not, it actually took me a week and that's it. And there was only one part of it. It was literally, what would you call it, 10 cents? Yeah. 10 cents piece or something? Right. That's how big. There was only one tiny, tiny wee part. I'll, ha I'll send you a photo of, of the state of my leg that it turned out. It turned purple, but it, it nothing scabbed in my body for, for somehow. It was only just one tiny wee 10 cent piece or 50p 
piece yeah. that actually scalped my whole body, but the rest of it healed up so quick and was unbelievable. I don't know why it's just because she, she's Cora is so good at what she does, right. you know? Right, right. Wow, man. I was watching the videos while you were doing it, and whatever you post, I'm just, I was sitting there laughing because of the video, you were, you were kind of like, you didn't give a fuck. You were just doing it. But I know, I, I don't know if I could go through that, man. That shit was like, God damn. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, put, put like this, you know, I, I remembered saying to her beforehand, I, I, I can take pain. Right. Because, um, you know, doing the weight training, there's things that I've done that have caused, not, not injury pain, but just this type of pain that you can get. Like, I'm like, oh, I've got a really high, high threshold. I bet you yeah, I could do this. Right. And then... Um, when she was going through it, like you can just your body, so your mind goes into a different, like a different level, different universe. You know, you're on a different type of uh, pain. Wow. It's, it's unreal what your body can actually go through. You know. Wow. wow. So let's talk. And there's about only, there's, a, there's no. only one thing like oh, there's only one thing like I I done this to, to represent the kids because there's three koi on it. Like there's a big one. And there's two smaller ones, and it's kind of represent me to look out for my kids, sort of thing. And that's the only thing that kind of drove me to, to get to where I am doing it, you know? Right, right. No, I, I was going to ask you about that, your kids, because you had one of them in a video, and they said, Go Deep is the best. <laughs> right, absolutely. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> uh, she's brilliant. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, she's. Uh, she, she, she's only just turned five, and I've got a wee son. He's turned uh, two. It's funny, I mean, I'm, I'm not with uh, the mum anymore. Right. Um, but we're still friends and all, but that's an horror story. But uh, it's funny that uh, I'm very lucky to have these kids right. because um, she was born on the 16th of April. Or sorry, she was born on the 15th of April, and he was born on the 16th of April, two, two years apart. So the, you know, you have the, have the birthdays in the same day, so I'm lucky enough to save a bit of money, you know? <laughs> right, <laughs> right, right. It's, I'm pretty much in a similar situation, but I'm not with their mom, but we're still cool. But their their birthdays are, listen to this, dog. Their birthday, Kimura's birthday is uh, February 26th. But that's like, um, in America, we have like uh, New Year's holiday on January 1st. <laughs> which, uh -huh. and we have another holiday on February 14th, but my middle son's birthday is January 1st. He was born on that holiday, and the other boy's birthday, the little boy, he's born two days before Thanksgiving, so all of their birthdays are like right during holiday season, and it's like all at the same time. <laughs> so, That's amazing, you know, it's funny, you know? Yeah. It's actually funny because, um, you, by the way, your kids are class. You know, I've watched all their videos and all too as well. They're brilliant, you know. Thanks, man. Look, it's just got some real good talent. Yeah. They're, they're, they're like their dad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They're pretty funny. They, uh, just them hanging out with me, we hung out one summer because I was working night shifts. So once they were off in the summertime, I had them like all day. And that's when the, all of this started because kind of get bored just playing video games all day so we were just like man let's just start making videos and shit and that's what they wanted to do because you know they would just watch you know chris wong videos all day or they were watch totally random so they started wanting yeah. to do it and you know the rest is history you know yeah 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 <laughs> it's, an, it's, an, it's amazing with technology now i mean kids now don't know how easy they've got it right with technology Right. You know, right. like I'm said, like I'm turning forty. My technology was a Commodore sixty four. Don't even know if you've, if you've ever heard of that, like, or like an Atari. Right, like an Atari. Like <laughs> yeah, I'm thirty eight. We had I, we had the Ataris too with Pac Man, and remember the little ten, yeah. the tennis game that it kind of just bounced the ball back and forth, pong or ping or whatever. Right. <laughs> Life, life was simple back then. There was no Twitter. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Let me ask you about the Twitter game because you roll around. They, they, they call y'all the trolls, man. They call y'all just fucking troll everybody, and it's hilarious as hell. I don't want to get on y'all's bad side, but please 
Tell me about that crew of, I think it's like you, Joker, uh, Joker maybe, Flack. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Um, was it uh, Joker Flack, um, S. Ferranza, right. uh, 2711, and um, uh, there wa there's another guy, but he, he changed his handle, and I don't want to say, you know what I mean? Right, right. Because he's, 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 he's trying to change things for positive, right. and to stay away from things, like, you know what I mean? So, right. Um, but listen, we 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 done it because you know it's people have to take, check people. You know what I mean? Yeah. It is what it is. Hell yeah. It's, it's it was against the likes of the start of uh, the likes of the forty club that were coming up with all those bullshit narratives that were coming up against RT Snyder cut. And right. Then it's like their friends, like fuck these people. Like you know, who who do they think they are? Right. You know what I mean? They're they're just trying to. They're trying to slander people's names in the movement. You know, right. The likes of, um, was it like, a, you, know, you know yourself at the minute with like uh, the Vindaloo Chris? Yeah. The, the people were trying to go after him and trying to move in. Yeah. The RT Center brand. It's, it's all about branding in the way it, it all is now, you know. People, if you notice this past week or so, people are trying to jump up going, oh, i done this and, yeah. you know, I started this and they're right. like, fucking hell, shut up. <laughs> Who cares? Yep. Well, you see, see, you know, we've got the Snyder Cup. Nobody gives a fuck who we are. <laughs> just, just, just fight, just fight the, fight the good fight. And the good fight is now to try and get the, you know, the, the bloggers and all these people, uh, you know, the, all the fake news. Like, was it? You see, Jody, Jody's corner there taking a full fit the other day. Yeah, I saw that shit, man. <laughs> Holy fuck! What the fuck is he smoking? You know what I mean? Yeah, fuck Jody. I, I hate it when he did that shit with Film Gov. I, I had enough. And, you know, I really never even really knew Joe. I never watched him or anything. I saw that one where uh, I think he was on a red carpet one time and he started screaming like a girl and everybody was watching him. I, I, that's what I remember, Jody. But when he went, right. when he went at Film Gov, man, I had, that shit pissed me off. I rarely get pissed off, but that shit pissed me off because... Film Gob is like the most, he's the coolest out of all of us. Why would y'all go at him on some racist shit like that? That was crazy, man. I feel like Gob's, like, no matter what side you're on, you know what I mean? Gob's like respected, like, you know, from all angles. Exactly. You know? exactly. He's, he's brilliant at what he does. Like, you, at the minute, he's firing out loads of receipts, and it's so funny. Right. You know? Right. Definitely. Yeah, um, but they're. There's, there's loads of people here that are, are just bouncing out with these blue checks, you know. The, uh, there's a the guy, um, it's actually a Joker, um, posted something there today, this morning it was. It was a guy, uh, he was, he's been on slag in the Snyder Cup four, right. and he got shut down by Mark Hughes, I think it was. Mm. But he's back on again, and it, Mark Bernadin, I think you call him. Oh, no, sorry. I, no, sorry, sorry, I'm getting mixed up. Mark Bernadine on the Kevin Smith show it was. Yeah. And, you know, he, he's, he's calling us a minority. He said there, uh, what was it? I've got the code here. Um, it's sometimes better we didn't get things we want. Mm. Shut the fuck up, cunt. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Be my dad. Be my dad. <laughs> Shut <Right>. up. <laughs> right. Oh, my God. You know I mean? I'm glad I got you on the show, bro. Finally. Yo, I want to, while I got you on the show, I'm going to ask you a question. Because people think that yeah. I control y'all. People have texted me and shit like, yo, can you call the clowns off? Can you call? And I'm like, yo, I don't I don't control them, guys. They do that shit on their own. But now that I got this you. Is, <laughs> this, this, this is the favor, not. Like, have, you ever, have you ever had like a friend where you kind of don't have to rely on them? Right. But they're always there. Right. I don't know if you understand. So you, you're like, you know, you go on and I'll like something and you'll probably like something of mine. Well, this is actually the first time we have actually ever spoke. Yep. Yep. You know what I mean? Yep, definitely. I mean, I mean, you know, talking wise, right. we've spoke a few times. But it's like we don't need to because, you know, you've got your thing to do. We've got our thing to do. And it's... I don't need to rely on you because you're doing your job and promoting everything. Right. You know? Right. Thanks, man. You are too. And I, I had to tell people one time, uh, no, a few times, like, yo, I don't control them. 
you know, and I'm not going to block them, you know, they're my homies. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, just, it's even the same, like, I mean, like, I mean, we don't, we don't really tell each other what to do. Do you know what I mean? It just so it just so happens that if people come up and we're always seeing these these assholes trying to attack people, right. it's like nah, 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 nah. It's not happening on our watch, you know. Right. right. You know what I mean? Right. You know so. Um. But the like so like so the best one is like I think he's so funny, Joker. Like you know, it's, <laughs> people call him whatever. Like but uh, it's all the stuff he comes up with. It's just it's classic. You know, it's just. Just makes your day, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does. He's funny as shit. I saw this one where he, I, I don't know how he does that little voice where it's like a little a voiceover and he calls people a bell end or something like that. But it's funny as <laughs> shit, dog. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes. He done, he, done, he, done, he done one there recently. If, uh, it wasn't a troll thing, it was a deal with Dark Side. Right. And Ray Porter even was on it, like I said, it was playing, you know? Right. Um. That's just so funny, you know. It's uh, I, I, I just, it's the same as like even putting up memes and all. Like I just love memes, you know. They just right. kind of get your day through, you know. Right, right, <laughs> definitely. Yo, sometimes I can't like Joker shit because I, I don't even go that deep. I'm like, oh shit, and I see it. I'm like, yo, he about to cause some hell. Yeah. <laughs> yo, we know, we know you're watching. We know you're watching. That's all that matters. <laughs> yeah, damn right I am. Damn right I am. And it's funny because. Look at, I mean, if we got past this um, this little finish line from, you know, that first race we did, the Snyder Cut race, whatever, there's still a lot more work to do. But that first leg of the race, I give it to y'all. Y'all guys have been undefeated with killing trolls. Y'all are, yeah. y'all are, the, <laughs> y'all are undefeated at killing trolls, you know? Oh, I, yeah. Yeah, there was, there was, um, I mean, 60, the other, the other three, the other three guys, like they're twenty four seven. They they just love it. They they love Zach, hundred percent. Right. You know what I mean? Right. And you know, the love RT Snyder Cut. That's all it is. Right. You know what I mean? Right. People want to people want to crack on and try and abuse people within the movement. Like. Right. Yeah, it's, it's just it's fuck off. Right. You know. Right. But there was a, there was a time there even like you know I was away for probably about I'd say about six or eight weeks. Right. This is this is going back about maybe a month or two. Ago. I was away for a while because just because of work, because I've got quite a few jobs. Right. And um, like I was sort of kind of keeping on top of it, like just coming in and out of the DMs, you know. Right. And then then I was actually I was starting to feel a little bit depressed because I was working so much and I wasn't seeing the family and all that sort of stuff. And then right. when I came back again, I just was like, oh fuck, Twitter is this place is this is a real nightmare. It's a real negative hole, you know. So. I decided to stop everything for a week and then I came back, got rid of all my accounts, and I came back under my own name. You know, it says, fuck it, I don't care what people think. Right. You know? <laughs> right. Right. I'm glad you came back, man. You know what I mean? And you came back at a perfect time, too. You know? Yeah, it was just, it was just by chance. It was, I've been back, I'd say, about six weeks or something. Yeah. Something like that, like, something like that, like, it's been six weeks. Yeah. And because I actually, funny enough, I try to reactivate the old, one of my, my old account. Right. But because it's doing like a 30 day thing, it's, it's it's deleted now, you know? Right, right. There's, there's quite a few there's quite a few people in the movement too, as well, I actually had on there that I can't get back adding because they're, 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 their accounts are locked, you know? Right, right. Yo, I think we know now. Remember, I had you in a room with us before and somebody kept reporting you? Yeah, this is <laughs> pretty <laughs> funny about this. I've, I've had uh, four accounts. Uh, it's a four. Well, this is actually my. Uh, this is my sixth account. I've had four accounts. The first one was when you uh, told me it was. I can't even remember what date it was. Yeah. I remember it was a, a January. It might have been January two thousand eighteen. Right. Two thousand nineteen. I can't remember. But it's what we came into that. Uh, that uh, group chat yeah and about it, I, I didn't even speak in the account and I, I piped up one day and fucking next minute you know my account's fucking been suspended <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what 
<laughs> and then, then, then you, that's where you were saying, like, do you think there's been somebody in the group? And I was like, fuck, it has to be. Yeah. So I set up another account, and it didn't even say, I, 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 I'm more of a, a reader. Yeah. I'm not, unless, if I don't really know people, I'm not really going to talk too much. Right. You know? Right. I have to know people, you know? I kind of felt like I was sort of sitting up trying to learn. I was trying to, you know, educate myself because there's a lot of people in that group chats who are, who are right. really in what's happened with Zach's you know, backstory right. you know right. uh, just trying to educate because I don't really want to go in and say something and fucking look like a dickhead you know right, <laughs> right. but then um, I set up a new account and then the next one it only lasted it only lasted fucking two weeks <laughs> right. I'm sorry man but I know I think I know who did it I think the same people that's been complaining about hacking everybody else, hacking them. I think they were the one that, you know what I mean? I think they yeah. were really going on yeah. defense of doing it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, set, I, set, I set up another, that's, see, like, all this hacking stuff, like, it's, it's, you know, it'd be hard enough to get people's, I can't, I can't see anybody in the movement who's bright enough to do that, like, you know? <laughs> right. You know, this is this isn't like fucking or NASA level fucking. You know, do you know what I mean? What the fuck are they doing on Twitter? Do you not be fucking breaking into banks or something? <laughs> oh my god! Why haven't I had you on the show earlier, dog? You, you should. <laughs> You're right. I'm saying all this shit like. Oh, he's hacking me. He's hacking me. He's and I'm like, yo, what the fuck? No, I don't believe this shit. This is just too much. Like, why? Why are yeah. these guys want to be on Twitter? You know, like you just said. You know, it's, you know there's, there's, there's listen, it's, I've always had one account, and that's it. You know, at, at per time, I don't have people want to believe what I want to fucking believe, but I actually only have one account. Right. I don't give a shit how many followers i have of mine if my account gets fucking suspended or what i'll just set up another one you know i don't care i don't care having fucking thousands of fucking followers it's i'm not on this for that like you know but there's people that are bound to have multiple accounts yeah. and if they wanted to report like one person you know it's yeah. it's you know that can that can get you suspended i think you know when people hacking you like you know mm. Right, right, and then it's this like. I mean, mess. Then, then there's. I mean, it's just so. It's a, you know yourself. Twitter is like it's like a tribe. Twitter is like tribal. Right, you know? right. People have all their own wee clicks here and there. You know what I mean? Right. It's like well, we we know there's people who are probably playing both sides. Right. You know. Definitely. They're bound to be. They're bound to be people who are playing both sides, and they're just got that nice big smile on their face, and they're full of shit. Yep. You know. 100 percent 100 percent and that's what that's what we found found out later you know what i'm saying that's that's what's been going on lately you know everyone finding out there was a lot of people playing both sides and a lot of people full of shit you know it's it's really it's it's really you know it's it's really sad it's really really sad what's happened yeah. you know it's it's kind of it's kind of human nature in a way that people want to be the number one, the one that clout or whatever you want to call it, you know, it, right. it is what it is. Right. It's like, it, it's in business, in business, nothing's personal. Right. You know? Right. right. It's, 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 who, who dares wins, you know what I mean? But it's, it's sad to see quite a few people, you know, um, it's not swap sides, but you just shit on people, you know? It's, 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 it, it, it's, it is really sad. <clears throat> Yeah. You know, the people who are like, about who are, who are, who are, not, can't really say friends, but the people in online who you really look to, you know? Right. But it is what it is. Fucking dry your fucking tears and move on. <laughs> <laughs> you got to. You definitely had to. And it, it's, um, <coughs> I don't know, but it didn't work out well for him, I don't think. At the end of the day, after cr crossing that release the Snyder Cut line, I look back at it. And a lot of people who was doing all that fuck shit and playing both sides, I don't think it worked out well for them. So. Yeah, yeah. 
What, what do you What do you think of the um, What's your opinion on the, the hashtags, like the yeah. uh, really society cuts or uh, versus the? Um, I don't really like using versus because it's it, it's all interlinked at the end of the day. But yeah. one pe- one group of people are saying we to use the Zack Snyder's Justice League. And right. Then, yeah, I'm I'm more on the side of like you know just keep sticking to the really the Snyder cut because it's a brand but you right. would never tell anybody not to use any hashtag right you know? right right I'm with you I told the group the same thing and um I we we all said that by the way I'm gonna bring you in that group none of those guys are in this certain group that I'm gonna bring you in eventually but I'm I was telling the group the same thing because we had that same discussion about different hashtags and uh like will made a good point with the um because I'm I, I I choose release the Snyder Cut hashtag only because if it ain't broke we don't need to fix it. But at the same time I can see those guys all sort of thing. Right, right, exactly, exactly. But at the same time I can see those guys saying, hey, well, you know, this is kind of the title of the movie and we can get it out. And now, see, that's cool too. But then there's another layer of people who like to just start up fucking. Uh, websites and sell them once they get big you know so you got to worry about those guys too so i'm 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 yeah i'm I'm just jumping on the bandwagon you know that's all it is exactly business 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 is business sort of thing you know right right so that's why i say man i just i'd rather we just stick to the original one so we know who's involved and we know where all the proceeds and shit are going to you know yeah 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 i mean that's to say like i would never tell anybody not to use Zack Snyder's Justice League because it's right. part and parcel now like it's not going to go away right. I mean it can't just right everybody stop what you're doing this is a dictatorship it's not a dictatorship right. shut the fuck up you know what I mean it is what it, it, it is what it is you know but I, I would just use the release of Snyder Cut because it's to, to me it's it's a brand it's been about from day one right you know more right. than this right you know right Definitely. and, it, and it, then it they look at look what's happening now with AT and T. Right, they are using it. Right, you know what I mean. Correct, correct. Bill Max is using it. You know, even you Subway know? and Wendy's and all those other guys were using it. You know, I think respected them. And like it's 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 it's, it's, it's unbelievable. You know, I, I just feel so happy. You know, for, for Zach and his family. You know, cast crew. You know, right. Everybody else who's involved in that sort of thing. You know, right. We kind of kind of it's it's justice for you know for Autumn. You know what I mean? Right, right. You know what I mean? 100%. It's a big, 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 you know, it's, uh, did you see, did you see, um, uh, we'll go back to this, uh, Ray, uh, yeah, did you see Ray Fisher's, where he, where he sort of broke down a wee bit, like when he was talking about Autumn and everything, you know, yeah. no, no wonder why Zach chose him, yeah. the heart and soul of, of the film, like, you know, that guy yeah. is so, he's so, cool and he's yep. so real he's yep. not fake right you no know? 100 and I, i'm man i can't wait to see this because if he's the heart and soul of it i hope he gets other film roles because he actually put his whole career on the line you know because he's not like yeah. ben affleck that's gonna get another role if even if he says release the snyder cut so this guy you know yeah. just stuck with Zack snyder because you know i don't know what he saw into him but i know what he, he probably saw something nice and he stuck with them so i hope he gets rewarded kind of you know what i mean yeah 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 it's it's so funny not funny um it's, what's the word i'm trying to look for the people who have stuck with zach you know yeah. the people who have stuck with zach like you, know, you can just tell why he chooses these people you right, know right right Definitely. You know, whatever whatever happened with Henry Cavill, I know he came on the other day, like, but he, he hasn't supported right. nothing until that point. Now, you, know, you can't take it away from the guy. You kind of see that he kind of really didn't want to be there. Right. I don't know why he just kind of got that feeling, mm-hmm. you know? But it's more so, I think, you know, uh, you know at the end of the day, business is business here. Right. You know, AT&T, with this coronavirus, you know, everything's inter- everything is interlinked here. Yep. I've said to you before, the cinemas are closed. God knows when they're going to open up. Even when they do you open up, you know, how are they going to make money? Correct. They still keep the. Do, are they keeping. Do, do you have the two meter ruler, do you? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. You know? 
right. Well, I mean, you know, if you're in a cinema, how many seats are in a cinema? You have to have a two meter rule. You can't have somebody sitting in front of you. Right. You know, we're not going to make money here. So this is why the scream is happening. You know, Henry's, Henry's, what do you call uh, Henry's um, manager, that girl? Rocks, yeah. X, was it? Yeah, Rocks. Uh, you know, yeah, I forgot her name, but Garcia. I see. Yeah, she's she's turned around like we need to do this. You know, this is this is hot property now. You know what I mean? Zach's blowing up here. We need to we need to jump on this wagon. Right, right. I mean, you're probably you're probably 100 correct because I, I heard some shit about they were going to talk about Man of Steel too, also. But then she kind of told him to relax on that and just let them story be about Zach, which which is a good idea but I, everyone always talks about danny garcia and relates to uh henry cavill you know yeah 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 it's, yeah. it's always like she's um, telling him what to do you know yeah it's just uh she's like the the wife who's got you know the phone <laughs> <laughs> yeah she's she's a powerful lady i guess man because i don't know i guess she was, she was she was she was married the rock and it, it was his manager is that right yeah yeah you know what i mean i mean there, there you go look at the rock i mean i'm not really i, mean, I love the rock right. you know i mean he's cool but you know the thumbs are some of the thumbs are shite <laughs> right. right definitely what do you think about they're, they're, what do you think? Just say they're, they're forgettable right <laughs> definitely definitely what do you think about the black adam role coming up um I hope uh, I will. Well, I'm a I'm a Zack Snyder fan. Right. You know what I mean? I mean, I'm not. I can't say you know. Is it, uh, love Zack's work. I love the tone of his films. Right. The, the way they were, the, the course correction with Shazam. Right. I'm just not a fan of it. Right. It's more towards kids, fun, light novel. Right. Well, that's history now, like you know what right. I mean. It's a forget for me personally. It's a forgettable film. Right. I've watched it twice, right. and I absolutely, absolutely fucking hate it. <laughs> you know, um, it's just for kids at the end of the day. Yeah. That Shazam for me. I'm going to go to the black guy. But the Shazam it was a problem for me because the likes of Billy, he was like the adult, mm. and <laughs> the uh, Zachary uh, Levi. Right. What was it? What, uh, what was it? Joker Flex said this morning or something. Jeremy, Jeremy Levi. Yeah, Jeremy Levi. Because I always get his name mixed up. So Joker is just kind of trolling me too. But it's funny because <laughs> I understand it. You know. <laughs> that was just, it was just totally funny. You know. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Like he was playing. He was playing as like a, a, a kid. It's yeah. like two different people. Yeah. It wasn't the same person. Right. You Correct. know what I mean? So that going into like a, a Black Adam, like. Rock could play a real serious badass, you know what I mean? But then you're going to have Zachary Levi just joking about the fucking cringe. <laughs> you're right, bro. You're 100% correct because Zachary well, Levi. How, 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 could, how, could, how could that Shazam be in the same universe as like the, the Batman? Right. Or Batfleck? Right, right. I don't know. It's a death. You know what I mean? It's so Joss, Joss Whedon here we're talking about here, you know what I mean? Cringe shit. Right. Um, we were talking yesterday. Um, we were talking yesterday. What if what if Shazam was recast and Dave Batista is the new Shazam? That'd be crazy. Oh, no, we're talking. Yeah, he'd be fine. And they like, oh, that would just be dream come true, you know? Yeah. 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 Well, up for that. Yeah, that'd be crazy because you're right. Zachary Levi, he acted more like the kid than the kid did, you know. Yeah, it, it just didn't. It just didn't. It just seemed weird, you know. <laughs> uh, plus, I mean, not now, now the fact that you no, know, now the fact that everybody was trolling him because of what he said about the center cut not being real, you know, and trying to joke about it. I mean, that guy is just reading off the script. You know, it's just, it's we we could talk about this for hours and hours. I mean, all these bloggers who you know, they're all just trying to suck up the you know certain people maybe in Hollywood. Do you know what I mean? Right. It's the same as uh, what's that fella? Yeah, uh, there's a guy there. I've seen what's his name? Jeff Jeff Snyder. Is it Jeff Snyder? Mm. It, I think it's Jeff Snyder. A writer. 
yeah, he was easy. He's, he's, he's a wee rat. Um, he he had slagged off the center cut long ago, like, and he's put up a poster recently, and he says about um, it was on the lines of uh, it's an honourable uh, precedent, basically meaning don't be given in to the fans. You know what I mean? Right, right. Don't it's going to open up the floodgates. Right. That's just a that's just a business guy talking. Right. Correct. Because they're going to have to put out more money for the director's cuts. Correct. You know? Correct. It is. It is. It's a it's a business dude and like like you said they are they are um, reading off a script. But now that he did that, he I think Zachary Levi ended his career with that. How can he bounce back from talking shit to the Snyder fans? And now Snyder is probably going to be control of the DCEU again. How can he bounce back from that? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's once once justice League comes up, um, you know, that's it's it's. I, I haven't read up on this yet. Are you talking about? Is it just Justice League and that's it, or are we? Do you think we're getting Justice League two and three? Or shit, yeah, I think so. I mean, because uh, I think Justice League. The Snyder Cut ends on a uh, cliffhanger from what people have been saying. So if it ends on a cliffhanger, I think the, the fans are just going to ramp up even harder than before to get part two out. So I think they'll be smart. If they're going to do, if they're going to do part two, I mean, because of the time, I don't know how they're going to do the timeline, but they're going to probably have to involve Zachary Levi, maybe. Yeah. You know, I don't, yeah. I, don't, I, I don't know, like, but, you know, it's probably going to have to somehow, yeah. you know? Yeah. They probably will. If hopefully, 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 he changes his mind and he does Zach justice. Right. And that's all we want today. You know, what I mean, we just want Zach justice here and make make the films uh, you know, unbelievable. Like you know, because if you think Man of Steel is good, we got BVS. You know, I know a lot of people love Man of Steel. I right. love Man of Steel. Right. Then BVS for me was the next level. Right. Justice League is going to be the next level. Right. You know, I mean, it just keeps. To me, it just keeps getting better and better and better. You yeah, know. I agree. Now Zach could, Zach could um, use Martian Manhunter, and he don't have to use Shazam. You know, <laughs> he could completely look over Shazam. Hello. <laughs> Sorry, you're breaking up, really. No, no, no. I said uh, <clears throat> if he uses Martian Manhunter, he can completely yep. look over Shazam. He don't have to put Shazam in, although. They did already make a Shazam movie, so I'm sure he will be somewhere, you know. Yeah, they'll, 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 they're, they're fine. To, there's probably be some sort of ghost claws that we'll have to put them in, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know? Well, uh, keep, they keep the kiddies happy, you know. Right, correct, correct, 100%. Let's just hope he, let's just hope he gets beat up. <laughs> <laughs> let, let I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I mean... Zach does justice to uh, his characters. You know, he's not going to make Shazam a pussy. You know what I mean? Right, right. He's going to have to make it powerful. You know, that's right. what it is. Right, correct. But we can have, you know, Darkseid can kill him first. You know, I mean, <laughs> Darkseid can kill him. Job done. Job done. Ray Porter, did you hear that? Yeah, yeah, I did. I did. The Exiles you podcast. Know, just shout, shout out to Ray Porter. Yeah. Ray, do us a favor. Put, 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 a, put a head out in Levi. <laughs> yeah, I figured it out. This is the reason why we connect. And I figured it out today from hearing you talk because it's the first time I talked to you. But in every movement, every gang, every crew, whatever, you need a guy to stand up and tell the other guy, yo, shut the fuck up. That's you. You're that guy that says, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take out. I'll yeah. take out. <laughs> now I know why we hang out, though. You need that guy in every crew. You know? uh, it's, a, it's a, it's a, it's the memes. What are you talking about? It's the memes and Facebook. <laughs> yeah, you're funny as hell. But yo, give um, <laughs> give everybody a shout out. We're pushing an hour right now, and I'm gonna wrap this up because I got to do my unemployment certification today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No worries. Uh, I'm not going to speed to everybody. I'll just take the, the, the trolls, of course. Right. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Joker Flag 2 and uh, S Foranza 2711. And uh, 
the other guy who I'm not naming because I don't know if he wants to be named or not, like I said. So, yeah, uh, just uh, it is what it is, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'll, I can mention, you know, shout out to uh, Noel, you know, yeah. even though we don't really speak too much, like, but I support, support him all the time, you know. Yeah, he's a, he's a great he's a great guy, like, you know what I mean? It's yeah. amazing what he's done for the movement, like, um, yeah. likes of Vin De as well, like, you know, um, it's 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 it's. It's hard, uh, hard to sort of listen to what sort of went on with them in the past couple of months, you know what I mean? Right. You know? Right. Um, Fiona, if it wasn't for her, like, you know, I, I don't know Fiona well, but it's, it's, it's someone who you have to give respect to, you know what I mean? Yeah, definitely. Um, yourself, of course. Uh, and uh, I'll give a shout out to Chris, Chris Dr. Mean Hatton as well, like, you know, he's a, he's a, he's a cool dude, you know? Chris is real cool, man, and I give a shout out to him too. I shout out to everybody you name. You know, I said to said you have to like, pay his fees as well. You know, <laughs> he, he's his his stocks and shares are going up a little bit more. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to hit up his people now because I mean shout out to him, man. To see Chris on the video with Zack Snyder and to know what he went through with his How father. Did he keep I actually haven't asked him. But if you, I don't know if you've asked him, but uh, how, when did he know he was going to be on? Shit, I didn't even ask him. I don't even know. I was just happy to see him. Yeah, I just seen the bald head, and I was like, "The fucking Chris." <laughs> 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 he deserves it, man. Chris, man, shed a lot of tears for this movement. He did a lot of work. Made a lot of people happy, man. Chris, yeah. he 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 really deserves yeah. it. Yeah, his, me his memes are funny as hell, you know. Yeah. 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 Oh, I hear. I have to give one more shout. It just popped into my head because of Chris J Olivia as well. Yeah, he's been like slaying a few people at the minute, like, and it's brilliant. It's brilliant yeah. watching him just shoot down people, you know. Hell yeah, it's it's brilliant. Hell yeah, hell um, yeah. Yeah, well, um, I think that's, you got that's it, man. Thank you, man. Thank you for coming on the show. Like I said, I'm going to add you into the Watchman room, but I'm going to probably I have another podcast. Yeah. Hope, hopefully nobody bonds me. Bonds me. <laughs> yeah, no, everybody already knows you. <laughs> Every, I'm, the, I'm the guy who gets put in, and if it gets suspended, you know then there's a wrap. <laughs> yeah, yeah, damn right. <laughs> but I roll with you regardless, so fuck it. We're going to have to find that rap, me and you together, bro. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I appreciate you coming on the show, man. We're gonna talk again soon. Like I said, I'll have this pop. I have. I have to edit a podcast yeah, yeah. with Hamad yeah. today, and yeah, then yeah. I'll have this out later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No worries. Uh, anytime, you know. So take it easy, okay? Yes, sir. Thanks a lot, homie. Yeah, no problem. Peace. Release the side of the cut. <laughs> Damn right. <laughs> Peace.